to episode 8 of Inna Knits, my video podcast about my passions for yarn and knitting. My name is Ina and I am coming to you from Norway. I live here in the middle part of the country, not far away from the city Trondheim. And I live here with my family, I have a husband, I have two teenage girls and one little boy of four years old. So welcome and uh, welcome to all new viewers. I have noticed that I have quite an increase of subscribers and viewers on my episodes. So that is uh, amazing and uh, I'm very grateful for that. You can find me online as Ina Pina, uh, that is my nickname on the Ravelry, and uh, Ina Pina double underscore is my nickname on Instagram. So please head over and follow me on Instagram and friend me on Ravelry, and uh, please also join our Ravelry group, uh, which is called Ina Knits. You can find it by searching the groups tab. Uh, on Ravelry. I am wearing my Soul Faded sweater today. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite sweaters. I knit it uh, earlier this year and it is, um, I guess you have all heard about it, but it is a pattern by Andrea Maury and uh, I have knitted out of fingering weight yarn in four different colors which are faded together. And the fit of the sweater is perfect for me and it's very versatile. So yeah. Unintentionally there has been three weeks since my last episode. I usually like to record every other week, but um, a lot of things have happened and um, I didn't manage to, to record last week. I also have had quite uh, some time off knitting. I, yeah, I've talked about this before, but sometimes I, I get a lot of pain uh, in my neck and back and shoulders um, and that is caused by several things but um, I guess one of the main contributors to that is my knitting uh, so every now and then I need to take a break so I didn't I didn't knit for I think it was a full week and after that I've been knitting uh, a little bit and doing like um, shorter periods of time and taking a lot of breaks and trying not to uh, knit as intensively as I often do <laughs> because that is what is um, causing um, tensions in my shoulders and back so I'm feeling a lot better now and um, I'm very happy that I am now able to knit every day again because that's what I love to do so I'm very happy to be here again and talk to you about my knitting I don't have many finished things to show you today but I have a lot of uh, works in progress. I have a lot of knitting plans and I have a um, giveaway winner to announce and I will save all of that admin stuff for, for the end. Um, but before I start sh sharing my knitting I am really excited about Advent and December because December is today only three, no, two days away because today is 29th of November so in two days we will have December 1st and that means 
advent calendar. And I am so fortunate. I have two advent calendars this year. Uh, that is two, two Yarny advent calendars, of course. That's what mommy wants. <laughs> oh, so um, I bought uh, the advent calendar from uh, Arctic Knitting and um, she has dyed up 24 unique uh, colorways and uh, I will unwrap one of them in a mini every day until Christmas so that is very exciting. I'm also doing an advent mini skein swap with two knitting friends Daisy and Heidi and uh, we are swapping tonight in Trondheim and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that as well. So that means that um, I will have two mini skeins to open each day until Christmas. And that is pretty amazing. And frankly, I don't know what I'm going to do with those minis. I don't have any scrap projects going at the moment, but I'm not worried about that at all. I will definitely uh, enjoy opening all those lovely minis and find a perfect project for it in the end. Okay, let's start with finished objects. I have one finished object, or rather two today, and they are Christmas balls that I have knitted for uh, the advent calendar that we are having in my department at work. And uh, there we were supposed to um, wrap up two small gifts each. And um, <clears throat> every day we randomly draw one winner then that will pick today's uh, gift. And I knitted two Christmas balls that are now wrapped up and um, are ready to go uh, at work for the advent calendar. And uh, you will now probably have seen the pictures because I couldn't show you obviously. Um, but they are so fast to knit up and I really enjoy knitting those Christmas balls. Um, they're really one of the things that uh, helps me get in the Christmas spirits or the Christmas mood. I have started um, another Christmas ball. I've come this far. I'm knitting these on, this is uh, just a standard red um, from Rauma, it's Finul, and uh, um, unbleached bleached white, um, and this is the two-ply from Ullcentrum, a Swedish brand. I don't want to give anything away, but uh, I can show you a picture of how the ball will look. They are so cute. Uh, the patterns are from this book, which is called... I think it's called... Um, 55 Christmas Ball Balls. Yeah, Christmas balls or Julekule on Norsk, in Norsk, and it's of course by Arne and Carlos. And I've had this book for several years, and I keep picking it up before Christmas and knit uh, some some of these balls, and I I love to give them away. They are so cute, 
and uh, nice little presents to give. So that brings me on to works in progress. Uh, first work in progress is living in my very wintry blue fringe supply bag, which I love. And it is my daughter's Christmas present. And this is um, the Angora sweater. Uh, it's the pattern that I'm knitting. It's a standard like raglan uh, pullover um, and the pattern is from Pickles, a Norwegian designer and yarn brand. And I am knitting this sweater out of um, uh, drops, brushed alpaca silk. In a very subtle, delicate pink. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, she is uh, really wanting a sweater in this color with this very fluffy, light yarn. Um, and she saw one sweater in a yarn shop um, this summer. And, um, and I thought, wow, she's actually wanting a knitted sweater. Of course I will knit one for, for her. <laughs> uh, so uh, so I'm, I'm knitting it and um, it's going quite, quite fast. Um, so I'm thinking that I will definitely manage to finish this uh, before Christmas. I have knitted as far as I wanted to before the raglan decreases. And now I have started the first arm. And then I will knit the uh, arm and the body together and start the uh, raglan decrease. And I am trying out my Lycke needles for the first time. And I absolutely love them. Uh, they are super smooth and very nice to to um, knit with. They warms up in my hands and uh, they're very lovely and not sticky at all. So <clears throat> I bought the short lycan needles and. Um, uh, I don't mind knitting with short, short tips, but um, I guess it takes some time to get used to it. So that is um, that is the um, raglan pullover for my daughter, and I have a lovely stitch marker here, uh, which is one that I was gifted from Nordic Stitches. It's very cute. So my second work in progress is um, living in another beautiful bag that I have from a homespun house. I bought this bag a um, couple of years ago, I believe. I'm not sure if she makes bags anymore. She has been focusing her business more towards uh, yarn dyeing lately. Um, these are my second pair of Christmas socks and it is made out of a um, leftover sock blank that I purchased from Stranded Dye Works uh, last year and it is her Christmas confetti colorway which were her holiday inspired color last year and I have been using a standard um, white fable I think drops fable for cuff and heel and I 
striped in uh, green leftover that I uh, had from my uh, my first Christmas sock pair, which were um, Regia Perfect Arne and Carlos colorway. And I have just barely started the second sock. I am knitting these on my seams, which I also enjoy knitting with. I have 60 stitches uh, and uh, I have started knitting a ribbing of 3 by 2. That is 3 knitted stitches and 2 uh, purl stitches. And yeah, I really enjoy these. They are very fun to knit and uh, as you know, if you have watched before, I I so enjoy knitting with scrap yarn. I love to make the most out of scraps. This is the sock blank, um, so it's not much left. I would guess that this is maybe 15 or 20 percent of the total sock blank and it is quite more <laughs> saturated in the colors than what I pulled out for the first sock but that is what is so exciting knitting when I knit with sock blanks because um, the colors are obviously varying all the way Yeah, and this is the little green ball I have left, and I have another one here as well. So this is an enjoyable knit. Um, I did some patterning, um, and that was inspired by Amy of the Stranded uh, Knitting podcast. Um, she also knitted a pair of Christmas socks with her Christmas confetti colorway um, just recently. And she did some kind of a um, broken, maybe she called it, uh, ribbing. So it is after you have done the uh, initial ribbing for the cuff, you just uh, continue knitting and every third row I um, did purl stitches where the uh, purl stitches were in the initial ribbing. <laughs> did you understand that? <laughs> I'm not sure if that was the best explanation but um, yeah. And I did um, a regular heel flap with a stitch, slip stitch pattern, um, heel turn and a gusset decrease. So totally just um, improvised, but um, I like them and um, I think they will make lovely Christmas socks. We have had a lot of cold weather lately and we are talking 10 to 12 minus degrees, that is um, degrees below freezing point. And I have been quite inspired by that and I really feel like knitting more garments for myself and um, therefore I have picked up my Setestal kofta again and the Setestal kofta is um, Setestal cardigan 
It's a stranded color work cardigan uh, with a traditional Norwegian pattern. It is a booklet from Rauma. Uh, Norwegian yarn producer. And this is how far I have gotten. And I, I started this uh, cuff and the beginning of the arm earlier this summer, I believe. I have shown this on the podcast before. Um, and if you saw the pattern, it is supposed to be this kind of um, dots or lies all the way, but I didn't want that. And the main reason is that um, the contrast between the light grey and the burgundy red is so big. So I'm afraid that my floats of the red will show through the fabric of the grey. So, but I think it will be nice anyway. So this is actually now a very nice knitting to... Um, have when I watch TV or other podcasts and such because now it's just plain stockinette knitting for a long time. The beautiful yarn I am knitting with uh, is from Easy Knits and uh, this is something I bought uh, at Edinburgh, Edinburgh Yarn Festival in March. And uh, here is the label, Easy Knits, and uh, it's the big boy base. So untreated, um, lovely, lovely untreated wool, quite woolly and um, very warm. So I love that. My last whip is the Flora Mittens by Skein Deer Knits. And um, this is the third pair of her Selby Mitten Club. And I have really been enjoying knitting the first pairs. Um, but I've decided that um, I now wanted to try and make a ribbed cuff instead of the um, quite narrow fitted cuff that uh, she calls for in the pattern. So I did um, and this is how far I got and then I discovered that I had too many stitches on the needles. <laughs> so um, it doesn't match up with uh, the rest of the pattern at all. And then I, of course I just have to rip the whole cuff out and re-knit it. I actually bought some yarn for these uh, mittens. I'm trying out Per Gint for the first time. Pergint is uh, uh, a yarn from Sannes Garn and it's 100% Norwegian wool. Um, it doesn't say that it is superwash but at the same time it's possible to wash in the machine, washing machine on wool circle that is, but nevertheless. So I'm not sure, does that mean that it is superwash? I hope not. It doesn't feel like superwash though. Yeah. So I have to rip back and start over 
and make sure that I knit with the correct number of stitches next time. I haven't been able to knit as much as I wanted um, the past weeks. But nevertheless, I have been dreaming about new knits and have been feeling extremely inspired and oh, there are so many things I want to cast on. Um, but I, at the moment I really, really feel uh, like finishing up the Christmas present for my daughter. And after that I don't... Um, I don't have anything that I have to finish before Christmas so then I can use my knitting time to just uh, relax and knit whatever I feel like. Um, I have been asked how is my progress going on my fall coats? And it has been two or three episodes, I believe, since I last spoke about my fall coat. And um, I'm afraid that the progress is just the same as last time I spoke, spoke about it. But if you're curious, this is my fall coat. And the pattern is called Fall Coat and it is by Pickles. And I am making it out of one strand of Pickles Merino Tweed and one strand of um, Pickles Silk merino I believe. I will correct it on the screen if it's wrong. And I've been using up uh, a lot of single balls of yarn and scraps in my stash. So that is why the colors are f like blending like they do. But I, I think it's absolutely beautiful and the fabric is so soft and I can't wait to wear it. The reason why the coat hasn't been finished is that I ran out of the dark purple uh, Pickles Merino Tweed yarn. And I, I knew that I would. And I still have 10 or 15 centimeters left. Um, until I finished the length of the body of the jacket. Uh, the rest of the yarn is still stuck on a failed jacket that I knitted several years ago. And I have to unravel uh, some of the jacket in order to get enough yarn to finish the fall coat. So, yeah, and this jacket in, is knit out of three strands of yarn, so it's a bit of a hurdle to start unraveling. But I, I, I hope that I will feel ready to start unraveling in order to finish this before Christmas. Um, but if I don't, it will be a nice project for January as well. So we shall see. Um, <clears throat> another beautiful knit that I really want to cast on is the Iris Shrug. And that is a pattern by Melody Hoffman, which had, and she has the Be Mandarines podcast. And she's a very talented designer. 
and she makes a lot of beautiful garments. And I actually downloaded, I purchased and downloaded that pattern as soon as it came out um, earlier this fall, I believe. And I have the perfect yarn for it, which is um, kind of a alpaca linen blend. And I think it will be absolutely beautiful in that shrug. Um, but I have been putting off casting it on because I have had so much uh, on my needles uh, this fall. Um, but then I discovered that um, Amy of Amy's Little Kingdom podcast, she's having a knit along um, on that very shrug. And oh, <laughs> I'm so tempted to cast it on now. And I talked with Amy about it, and she said that. Um, Oh, there's no no stress. Uh, the knit along is going on for the whole of December and January. I think they wrap up like January 31st. So I still have time left after Christmas if I if I don't cast on before <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> and. <clears throat> I know that a lot of you are very interested in getting recommendations on other podcasts, Norwegian podcasts, and she is one of them that I can really, really recommend. Amy, um, I think Amy and I started podcasting at about the same time, but she um, is podcasting quite more frequent than I do. I believe she's about one she's podcasting once a week and um, she is knitting the most beautiful things and she is so lovely to watch and to hear um, she's very inspiring and have a lot of ideas and her aesthetic is um, perfect so Definitely go over and watch her. She's also podcasting in English. And Amy is co-hosting her knit along uh, together with a wooden nest. And that is another podcast that I have been enjoying lately. A wooden nest is a podcast from the States. And um, the lovely Lindsay who is the host. She uh, is such a calm and relaxed person. She is podcasting like a pro, I would say. <laughs> so it's very visual and it's very almost mystical or magical, the, the sense and the feel that you get. Uh, when you watch um, the setting of her podcast and the surroundings that she films and uh, it's so beautiful it's very very beautiful and nature inspired and yeah so that's another beautiful podcast that i really enjoy and like to recommend to you if you are in the lookout for more inspiration out there Another new cast on that I'm dreaming about is um, the new hat that Arctic Knitting just released uh, the pattern on. Uh, it is called Winter Crown and I will pop up a picture here so you can see how beautiful this hat looks. It is inspired by Norwegian traditional patterns. It has the Selbu pattern called the Selbu Rose on it and um, the crown decrease is absolutely 
wonderful. I believe that it knits up quite fast because it is made with two colors of DK weight yarn. And I will dive into my stash as soon as possible to find uh, suitable colors for this hat. I can't wait to knit it. It's so wintry and oh, the aesthetics of the hat is absolutely fabulous. <coughs> Excuse me. And Amelia of Arctic Knitting, she is actually gifting um, one pattern of the hat for one of you guys. So thank you Amelia, that is very very generous of you. I will give away a copy of the Winter Crown pattern to one of my Instagram followers. So please head over to my uh, account on Instagram, uh, which is inapina double underscore, if you're interested in uh, winning a copy. I also um, are dreaming about the Frozen Mystery Knit Along that Nordic Stitches um, is hosting through December. The Frozen Mystery is um, definitely a mystery because we haven't been told what we are going to knit. The only thing that she has informed us about is that uh, we need two colors in fingering weight yarn and, <laughs> and that's about it and the rest will be revealed um, every Sunday of Advent. Uh, one part of the mystery will be uh, revealed and uh, along with the pattern she will also tell a story. So that's so sweet and uh, interesting and I can't wait to start casting on on Sunday. Very excited about it. The last thing I will share with you when it comes to knitting plans is a long time lurking whip. And this is a mitten um, which I I think I knitted on it last winter, but I'm not sure when I just tucked it away and the pattern is called How Cold Is It? Um, and the answer is on the top of the hand. Uh, the pattern is in English but um, there is a Norwegian version of it and that is the one I have been knitting. So I'm not going to say it out loud because it's not nice. But I find these mittens so f funny. <laughs> so I couldn't resist casting them on. Um, so if you're curious what these words mean, I guess you can just Google it, you will find out. Or you can look up the pattern on Ravelry. Um, these are knit in fingering weight, non superwash wool. The white one is Rauma Finul, just a plain unbleached white, and deep burgundy red is. 100% wool, untreated wool that I purchased in uh, Tallinn in Estonia. So now on to the more admin and chatty stuff. Uh, firstly, I would like to talk about my Ravelry group, Ina Nits. And um, 
Thank you so much for all of you who has been joining and participating in the threads and the activity going on there. I must admit that during the past weeks when I have been not feeling 100% I haven't been that active online. Uh, I have a lot of comments that I haven't been replying to on YouTube and I haven't been through all the comments uh, on Ravelry either and um, I'm a, I'm a bit behind there but I will I will get I will get back to you I promise <laughs> eventually um, in my Ravelry group uh, there's a knit along going on it's the Nordic Stitches knit along where me and Amelia from Arctic Knitting are hosting um, a knit along together where we knit um, one or more of the wonderful patterns from the designer Nordic Stitches. And um, there is a chatter thread in my group as well as a finished object thread. And last time, uh, in my last episode, I announced that I was going to draw a winner from the finished object thread uh, on November... <laughs> Uh, 22nd I believe one week ago and the price is these beautiful stitch markers that Lily of Nordic Stitches have made and she has an Etsy shop or no she has closed her Etsy shop I guess her shop now is on this website and the uh, lucky winner of the these progress keepers are Jamie Walcott and she made two hats already and they are the Nordic Delights beanie one and two and they are absolutely beautiful so congratulations Jamie and please get in touch with me and um, send me your full name and uh, uh, address and I will send these progress keepers to you as soon as possible. I haven't put together all the prices for the knit along yet but I have made prepared one price and this is a set of eight mini skeins. Um, and they are all 10 gram minis. And all of these colors I have been knitting with lately. So they're from my stash. And um, this is going to be one of the prices for the knit along. And I will add uh, one or two more prices um, during December. I have been so fortunate as to win a prize myself. And that was from um, another super inspiring and lovely podcast from the Netherlands. And she's called Hooked on Ink Blobs. And Tanya, uh, she was giving away some Dutch yarn. The yarn is very warm and very rustic. And I believe that uh, it is mostly suitable for socks, but I will look up online what I can find and see what others have made with it. But I'm super pleased to have some uh, authentic uh, Dutch yarn in my stash. And um, 
I'm very happy that I won this prize. And sweet Tanya, she also included a lovely bag. And um, so thank you so much, Tanya. All right, that was all that I wanted to share with you today. Um, I hope that I see you again very soon. I will try my best to record another episode before Christmas. But in the meantime, there will be Advent vlogs. And the first one is in the making right now and will be uh, released uh, on Monday, the 4th of December, I believe. So I hope that you enjoyed watching and please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you would like a notification when a new episode is out or when the advent vlogs are out. So hope you are all well and that you get a lot of lovely relaxing knitting done. See you soon, bye bye!